Hello and welcome to EU4, the new Cahokia, where we are playing as the Chickasaw. Um, still kind of getting over a cold, if you're wondering why my voice sounds weird. Um, we're recording on the 4th of July, which is Independence Day here in the U.S., and we are going to go for a different kind of American independence by trying to establish a uh, an independent native nation in North America. So far, no colonizers have shown up in the areas that are visible to us. So that's good. We've still got time. Um, I believe what we were doing last time, I had to get out of here pretty uh, unexpectedly. I think we broke our alliance with the Cherokee, and we were trying to build, uh, figure out who else doesn't like them to try to get a another alliance going. Um, so they have truce with Creek, Shawnee, Caddo, and Chickasaw. Caddo... <clears throat> Caddo might actually join us again. I think they were part of our federation. Yeah, we, we must have betrayed them at some point because their trust is actually pretty low. Um, so maybe we'll pull them on this. Maybe the Shawnee... Lenape, Fox, Lenape's allied with the Micmac and the Powhatan. They're also in a federation with the Iroquois, the Ojibwe, and the Powhatan. Um, Fox, Huron, Miami, Arapaho, they actually have a fairly big alliance. That might end up being more trouble than it's worth. Um, whoops. Yeah, let's see if we can bring the Caddo back on our side. That'll get us up to three out of three Diplo relations, probably. Oh, it'll put us one over, but that's fine. Looks like they would accept an alliance, even though we betrayed them previously. Wish they'd accept vassalization, but I don't think that's likely to happen. Let's see if we can improve our relations with them. Too many Diplo relations. Um, can I start annexing? So the Wichita I can't because we don't touch borders. The Potawatomi I believe are the same deal. Yeah, they're way over there. Um, so the Creek, once we get up to 190 opinion, we should be able to annex them. Also, I don't think we're at our force limit currently. So let's build a few more armies here. Regiments, rather. And our truce with the Cherokee ends <coughs> in 1510. So about five more years. Oh, look. And the Shawnee are getting their asses kicked. So what do you know? Oh, awesome. Our chief is now an expansionist, so he's going to help us expand our borders. We should actually be defending this land here. Supply limit 15, cool. Natives here have very low aggressiveness and ferocity, but still, we don't want to lose colony progress to something silly. So once we finish off... Um, let's maintain the diplomat. Once we finish off this area here... Uh, the Illinois area, once we own as much of it as we can. I really just want to take... Oh, well, I was going to say take this province, but the creek just moved in here. Um, oh, and our general is dead. That's sad. Um, so maybe we'll annex them, but I also really want to take Alabama just because this border gore down here is bothering me a lot. Diplomatic insult on the Cheyenne. Awesome. Thanks for the free CB, motherfuckers. Who are you allied with? The Ottawa, Huron, Fox, Miami, Ottawa. Would they all join in? That might be a little... Miami, Fox, Huron, and Ottawa. And the Cata would not join us. That's a little... It's a little dicey. We're three military techs behind, so I'm not sure if we can fight all of them at the same time. Um, even with our much larger army. Speaking of tech, 
I want to see where our institutions are present. And also what are we looking at in terms of development cost? So Choctaw, Chickasaw is I think the the new more the new cheapest. Oh, it's actually Tuskegee. <clears throat> would be the cheapest to develop. Um if we wanted to try to force another institution to spawn. say this would give us feudalism progress all right so we need to wait we need to wait for it to spread a little bit unless we just want to continue developing our capital is Tuskegee farmland oh it is okay cool yeah we're gonna have to we're gonna have to pass on that the fox want to ally with us Hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see. It would accept a federation offer from us, except that they're already in a federation. So, let's continue to improve relations with the Caddo here. Maintain Diplomat. Eh, never mind. We don't need them there right now. Let's let's try to improve relations with the fox. Seems like they could be a good ally. Lost force migration against the Sioux. Just want the creek to like us. Hey, how close are we to being a great power? Actually, <clears throat> we're not doing too bad. For a North American nation. How is this colony doing? Oh good, and the, the Sioux moved out of Illinois, so we can grab that and get the whole state. Even though these are all going to be depleted by migrants! <coughs> Again, sorry about the co coughing. Oh, the Age of Discovery is about to end, so the Protestant Reformation has apparently started. Um, gain forced migration against the Cheyenne. <coughs> Excuse me. Jeez. Don't know if we'll hit that feudal society in five... Oh, that's five vassals. Okay. Develop nation. That would still only give us two out of the five that we need, though, for uh, starting a golden era, so. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Jeez. Did the Caddo move at all? Okay, they did move. Okay. By fire. Let's have faith in the flames, as always. Awesome. Bleeding money a little bit. What are we spending money on? Probably mostly colonial maintenance and army. States and advisors. This guy's doing a good job though, we'll keep him around. Call on diplomat from the fox. Excellent, colony is self-sustaining. Um, they are allied with Huron, Miami, and Arapaho. Arapaho are way up there. I'm not that worried about them. Where are the Miami? They're not anywhere near the modern-day city of Miami. Oh, there they are. Yeah, not too worried about them either. Maybe we should try to be buds with the Huron, though. <coughs> Jeez. Greek liberty desire is slowly wearing away. When can we annex them? Truce Cherokee is ended. Okay, do they have any powerful allies? They are diplomatically isolated, from what I can tell. But I don't know if we have a CB on them anymore, because the creek don't border them. Uh, 
Oh, okay. <clears throat> we, we, yeah, we have the reconquest from the creek. That's what it was. All right, cool. Um, Cato won't join us. That's fine. So we are going to go to war with Cherokee. And we need a general. That'll do. That will do. Four shock pips. All right. So let's go down to speed three, just so we don't make any dumb mistakes. And they're going straight for the Potawatomi. <laughs> they are, uh, they're going to lose their entire land before they do anything of use. Oh, actually we need to do a general swap here. Yeah, we'll just do this. The siege progress isn't even that far along. Just so we can get the siege done faster. Alright, awesome. <clears throat> Friendlies can attach to both of these. Subjects are allowed to do whatever they want. Which is good. Okay, they've abandoned the Potawatomi, so they're probably coming for us now. Visit from some shady people. We will refuse your offer. I don't know what kind of shady people are kicking around the uh, North American continent at this point in history, but... Alright, we're going to wait for them to lock in, and we are going to counter-attack. I think they have a terrain bonus, because we're fighting on top of their fort. But our numbers advantage should win the day. <clears throat> awesome. So, we'll see if we can stack wipe them here real quick. Boom. Done and done. Oh, look, they have another 10k stack just hanging out from somewhere. Wait for them to lock in, and let's do this. Stay where you are. Don't run away. Nice. And how about another stack wipe? Fan of stack wipes. Nice. Got it done. And now we're going to go up to speed five because there's not a thing they can do to stop us. We could buy a technology, but I'd rather wait. Where do we cap out on this? 2,000 stored? Yeah, we'll wait. If you guys could not just park here and cause me to take attrition, that would also be great. Excellent! Um, can we just take the whole thing? We could make them a vassal, but I feel like they're going to be very disloyal if we do that. Um. Yeah, that's not really going to work, is it? <clears throat> Alright, well, we won't take any territory from them, we'll just take money. Money's good. Prestige is good. These are all good things. Can invest in the bark. 7k in manpower debt, which isn't great. We are making money though. At least until our army recovers. Oh, and we can reduce inflation again. There we go. What, what CB did we just get? Make sure this recording is still going. Cool. <clears throat> Force migration against the Cheyenne. Okay. Force migration against the Caddo. 
Knowledge is power. Let's see, how close are you guys to wanting to be annexed? 15-14. Pretty close. Stay where you are. We need that province. Oh, hey, we haven't really promoted any cultures. We could be making a lot of money off of that. Oh, yeah. Let's promote the Choctaw. Oh, we could even culture shift to Choctaw because they're a higher percentage of our population right now. Um, 100 Diplo power. Let's see, what does our culture map mode look like? Choctaw, that's Creek over there. Hokey is Chickasaw. We'll stay with Chickasaw culture for now. Families left behind. Um, let's ease the tax burden. We've got a lot of money to spare right now. Dang it. Okay. Well, that still helps us out, kind of. Truce with the Shawnee has ended. Do you have a CB against the Shawnee? We don't. Do we still have a CB against the Cherokee? We do. But we have a truce timer. So, if we can figure out a way to take this province from the Shawnee, we will have a horrible path to the uh, Cherokee. Truce the Caddo has ended. We like them now, though, so. Let's see, what day can we annex the creek on? October 4th. So we're about a year away. And also, we need to get their opinion of them of us slightly higher. I think their liberty desire needs to be below 50%, which it should be ticking down as our armies grow back up in size. We have a two-star general. That is pretty badass. How is our institution spread going? Very, very, very slowly. For the totemist faith! September, okay, so, yeah, they need less than 50 liberty desire, so, what can we do to lower their liberty desire? Um, we could placate the local rulers, there we go, annex vassal. Fantastic. Oh, this is going to be super quick, too. Boom, boom. Lost force migration against the Sioux. Don't really care. And annexed. Integration is a slow process. Awesome. So we didn't get that awesome general, which is a bummer. You're also now hugely over our force limit for some reason. Did our force limit go down from annexing them? It might have. All right, well, <clears throat> remaining subjects should have a lower liberty, liberty desire now. If the Wichita could migrate down here so we can annex them, that'd be nice. Shawnee. No CB against them. Can we send them an insult? I don't know. Not being able to have any rivals is seriously putting a damper on our uh, on our ability to enact conquest here. <laughs> 